GTC. So my main role here is um, to work on R&D projects, to establish joint industry projects and to connect GTC with um, Singapore industry. In the QRA, we look into um, fire explosion modeling, toxic dispersion, and we also look into the chance and the likelihood of such an event from happening. So uh, for emergency response planning, they always look at um, the QRA reports and look at the results from the QRA and then to see what are the events that they should be planning for. Because let's say in a refinery on a Jurong Island, which is a um, very important place for Singapore because it housed petrochemical hub, um, there are many, many scenarios that could happen in, in within a refinery. Many things could fail and many scenarios that you're talking about. So we need to pinpoint and highlight which are the ones that you should be planning for. We have been to um, companies in Singapore or even different parts of Asia to talk about 3D. Um, they are a bit reserved there because they're still used to 2D. And um, if the mindset is not as open as, as, as the countries that are already using 3D, uh, so they still have yet to recognize the benefits of using 3D. So in one of our projects, we are trying to work with the SRMC, the agencies, to come out with a, with a, with a, with a showcase pilot project to use a simple training facility to uh, demonstrate the benefits of 3D modeling versus 2D. Because um, so in Asia currently, there are a lot of projects onshore, offshore, they are still using 2D modeling just to, it's more to satisfy the criteria of the government's agencies and the end owner because the end owner sometimes think that okay 2D modeling is good enough uh, but 2D modeling you you assume the release is open field so that's you cannot consider obstacle so for example a release inside this room in 2D modeling you can't really model the true effect of a release inside a room but in 3D you can put in geometry, you can put in um, obstacles, you can put in a lot of details. So in case there's a fire, you can put in even deluge, you can consider deluge, what's the fire suppression rate with the fire water coming in. But in 2D, there are a lot of restrictions because 2D is just simple, two-dimensional. It's just you know, X and Y axis. You cannot look into um, various factors like the 3D modeling. Basically, government agencies in Singapore, they are considering a lot of things and approving a lot of QRAs based on 2D still. And, and this can be a bit too conservative in the sense that because sometimes they do not consider parameters like I mentioned, fire waters, enclosures, obstacles. So you end up having a dispersion that is you know, what, very, very far apart, a very, very big distance. So, um, and the government agencies, they establish zone because Singapore is a very tight space, tight country, right? So space is of an essence. So they do their land use planning very properly based on the QR reports. QRA in Singapore, they are more used for land use planning. And um, they end up sometimes creating a bubble zone that is a lot bigger than it should be. And then they will sterilize the whole impact zone, I mean, sterilize the whole facility area um, to say that, okay, there's no dormitory here, no this here, no that there. So in a, in a way, it's been very conservative because they sterilize too much land from just based on 2D. But 3D, if you get a more realistic profile, it can be worse or it can be better. But better than that's good because you can optimize the land use planning more efficiently. Music